Like, damn. Listen, before we get into these topics, make sure y'all subscribe. If y'all not already subscribed, yeah. hit the like button, join the membership, and cop the merch, man. Daily Rapper mm-hmm. Crew.co, man. And join the second YouTube channel. Daily Rapper Crew Clips, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's clean. That's clean, man. Listen, let me get to this first topic, right? Mm. Um, <laughs> I've seen recently, there's a lot of conversation about the whole sugar relationships. We got sugar babies, sugar daddies, we web websites and all that. Mm-hmm. Do you think, why do you think more women are embracing that sugar relationship lifestyle? Do, do you think it's empowering or it's exploitative? Um, I feel like more women are embracing it because this whole trend of this soft girl era is going a little rampant mm-hmm. as of right now. And most women, it's... Well, nowadays, it seems like doesn't really want to go to this modern woman aesthetic where it was like maybe like I would say maybe about like four or five years ago was like the hustler, the independent, the boss girl. That's what was trending. And it's more so shift. So like the sugar baby lifestyle, the stay at home girlfriend lifestyle, that seems more appealing because of the aesthetic where it's just like I'm just a girl. Mm -hmm. And because I'm a woman, certain things are owed to me. And it it creates this like damsel in distress um, perspective. But personally, I don't think something like that is empowering. But to each their own at the end of the day, um, overall, the lifestyle is pretty much for those I see that don't really want to go to nine to five. There was um, this woman on TikTok that literally went viral that says that she chooses this lifestyle because she never dreamed of labor when people asked her what her dream job is. Mm. So whereas being a sugar baby, being a female, being feminine, being soft, and just creating this perspective of entitlement around themselves and running with that and expecting men to take care of them, even as like a sugar baby, it doesn't really seem like, well, let me just say to me, it doesn't really seem all that worthwhile at the end of the day because when he leaves, then what? Mm. Like, my mother always taught me, you give a man a power to feed you, he has the power to starve you as well. Mm. And I don't think that they realize that in the moment because the lifestyle is, you know, a bit extravagant and more so probably not what they used to. But then once he's gone, once the money dries up, it's like, then what? Mm -hmm. And now it's, it's... It's a soft version of prostitution to me. Okay. <laughs> Honestly. Okay. 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 <laughs> but I feel like also you got to grant it. And I know girls who are sugar babies and stuff like that. But the guy's giving you all these things or whatever. He's giving you money. Once that money is received, you choose to how you want to spend it. You can mm-hmm. save it, stack it. Because clearly the money is going to run dry. You got to figure out what's your next move. What's your plan B? If you just want to go from one trick to the next to the next to the next, then... That's on you. But also, hey, get it how you live. Make that money. Don't let it make you. <laughs> That's a fact. Okay, okay. What, what's your thoughts? And bring the mic closer because I know oh, you, you look like you got a lot to say on this. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep it brief. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I feel like if you have that relationship with somebody and they're providing you with money, they're providing you with a lifestyle that you want. And you're safely enjoying yourself, whether you're getting some good dick out of it or you're just having a good time out of it. Amazing. Enjoy. But I feel like in recent news, whether it's celebrities or just people we know personally, it's becoming more apparent that most of these girls are not happy. Mm. Most of them are getting this lifestyle. And in the background, they're depressed. They're getting beat up. They're getting tortured. They're getting literally and figuratively shitted on. Mm. For sure. Okay. Oh, no. So niggas, niggas on call out to them Dubai, Dubai trips. Trip. You know, we know what those <laughs> like, are about. And now, you know, I mean? you know, it's becoming like, oh, I love getting peed on. Like now that's coming out. And it's like, do you? I don't mm. think you really do. Some girls, they have their kinks. <laughs> Some girls have their kinks. But I'm just saying, a lot of times it comes out that the girls aren't happy once that relationship ends. So I just feel like if it's comfortable, if it's safe, go ahead, do it. Make sure you're advancing your life while you're getting that. Other than that, make sure you get in your own bag. Yeah, a lot of women think because they're young and they in Miami that they can enjoy getting pissed on. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's a bar right there. You know what I mean? You see what <laughs> I did? That's a bar? Did, you know what I mean? Like, did, you see what I did there? But, no, um, we, 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 yeah, we're not going to get it. But, um, Ace, what's your thoughts on this? Um, I think... I think they, they tried something. 
when she was talking about that independent bus woman era or whatever, mm -hmm. and they realized that yeah, this ain't for me. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, lazy. I, I, I want to be I taken care have... of. You know what I mean? So <laughs> not not they. Oh, I'm a soft girl. I'm just a girl. Nah, I mean, I, I'm just trying to reel it back. You know what I mean? So I think sugar, sugar daddy is just the how. It's not nothing new. Like it's been sugar daddies back in the day. Is sugar daddies now? Like they just going back to the natural order of things, in my opinion. Like, mm. Natural order? Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. say necessarily yeah. the natural order. Like I was order. with you, and then you said that natural Explain order. That it's like, well, it's, it's it's in a woman's nature to be wanted to take care of, right? Okay. So it's her natural order, like because back in the day yeah, we wasn't taken, doing a damn thing. But you wanted to be taken care. Yeah, I wasn't of doing a damn thing. We was doing we was doing more nurturing. We wasn't we wasn't working back in the day. We wasn't it was, allowed to. It was work. an exchange, but yeah, I was still. But I'm saying mean? back in the day. So the way they have their sugar daddy thing is girls have sex. They hopefully cook clean, do home good stuff, mm -hmm. while the men provide and take care of the household, give them money, take care of them financially. Mm -hmm. That would be the sugar daddy lifestyle now. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, that's just how it was. But again, a lot of them women will tell you they was getting their ass whooped if the food was burnt, if the food was yeah. late, if they even if they didn't make bad. a boy. Mm -hmm. Just because they had a bad day at work, they get home from the army, your ass is whooped. I think that's important what you said because you know, obviously, when you think of social media, we only people only ever post the positive. Like you know what I mean? A lot, of, a lot of motherfuckers be in debt, struggling, like homeless. It. Like you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right. and I think I think that's the same thing with the sugar baby concept. It's like on the outside, it looks like, man, I'm on this yacht, I'm getting flued out, mm -hmm. whatever the case is, and he only wants companionship. That's what they. That's how they always try to finesse it. Sure. He only yeah. wants companionship. The nigga fucking like you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like some niggas do want companion. I get it, but for the most part. Niggas is trying to fuck, like you get what I'm saying. And Nine you want at, at, at some point, like you said, <laughs> no, you no, will, you will the money either the money will drop or you will age out of that. Like you know, you'll get older. He'll find somebody younger that's more attractive. Like and you know what I'm saying. What? And you know what I mean. So that's how she's saying: well, get the money, save it, invest it, whatever the case is. Like you get what I'm saying. So um, I think a lot of women are gravitating to that lifestyle because they do think it's just. Well, I'm gonna just find me an old white man that dick don't work, and he just mm -mm. want companionship. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Like, yeah, they got saying? pills now. Yeah, <laughs> well, well, what, yeah. Well, why y'all say they not happy though? Because I don't see, I don't see a lot of women leaving the lifestyle. Like even if you saying they getting they ass beat or they getting peed on shit on, because they will still if... they will still leave that nigga and go find another one and do the same shit. Mm -hmm. So how yeah. you not happy? That's because once they get that, they don't and then when they with that. a good nigga that's cheating right and they happy, they leave that nigga because he broke. Oh, he, oh, he that's not broke, but he, but he not taking yeah. on vacations. He not buying up Birkins and that's shit. That's people get addicted to the lifestyle. It's it's a it's like yeah, like um what Godava was saying. It is a lifestyle thing. It's like if you cannot see yourself living less than a certain way, mm. like you so are. So you living that lifestyle, you happy, right? Of course, but. To an extent, I'm happy because of the things I'm receiving. I'm right, happy so, because so, of the money. So you happy but enough I'm, to stay in that because because you the happiness is outweighing the bad, that, right? That's not always the case. Yeah. It, like we I said, it's very subjective. We don't talk subjective. about the, the mental issues that they go through. Like she said, motherfuckers getting shit on. You think they really happy to get shitted on or pissed on? Like, like let's, yeah, well, after the break, right. yeah, for sure. But happy, you know, gonna, mm. this is the thing: all of us have worked a job that we did not want to stay at. And we got our payment. Mm. They're making a lot more money to do shit they really don't want to do. They'll be happy with the money. They're not happy with the actions. Mm. And I could say that some girls have their kinks again, but more than likely, they're Probably not happy. Not. They're yeah, not I, happy. I think women just want to be openly like they just want to be op openly a, like prostitutes. So you know what I'm saying? That's it's not that's women. Really, it's some people. Some there's women. some there's men less, and there's yeah. some women. But that's what I, I, not I do feel too like much. every woman got a price tag. I'm but, be honest with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every woman, you, enough money. Y'all gonna y'all gonna double guess y'all morals and be like, okay, nobody, nobody gonna that, know that. That I is just did that this. is like, extremely you know subjective as yeah, hell okay. because okay. not yeah. to toot my own horn. I've been around the best of the best and the lowest mm, of the lows. <laughs> I'm gonna say something wild. And yeah, for please. me, yeah. for me, it's about character. Mm -hmm. Your price. There is no price tag on my morals, on my values, who I am as a person, and who I am, especially as a woman. Because there is nobody and nothing on this planet that can deter me from any of that. Mm. So, as a man, let's just say you approach me. You yes, yes, you got the bands, you got the cars, you got the house. You could fly <laughs> me out, you could buy me bags, you could get me designer. Cool, no, you but you ain't it. shit. You. Beating, you trying to be on me. You're being condescending. You're demeaning. All these things. You think that me as woman, I'm a stand there because you can provide for me materialistically. You must be insane. There's more to life than things. I can't take that shit with me. I can't build a family off of that. Mm. 
So let's just say there's a man that I don't want to say broke because that's different, uh-huh. but someone that's not doing as financially well as the next guy or as much as me or even just a little less. But you are you have morals, you have values, you care for me, you make sure the bills are paid, you make sure I'm good emotionally, you make sure like let's say if we had kids, there's clothes on their back, they in school, there's food in the fridge. I'm going to choose you. You can't take me on a trip every month. You can't fly me out every year. But I can build a home with you. I can be happy. I have There's something sustainable there. And I feel like that's what a lot of women tend to overlook, like the sustainability of it. And they're more so living in the moment. Nobody thinks about longevity anymore because this whole YOLO thing is like, yeah, no, nah, I'm living right now. I'm in the moment. I'm never going to be this young. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to have fun. Cool. There's a time for that. But once you reach a certain age, it's like, okay, when does that get played? When do you realize that a solid foundation overpowers everything materialistic that you could get your hands on? Mm. When did you realize? <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> honestly, for me, it was after I lost my dad. I lost my dad in 2018, and my, my whole, thank you. Um, and my whole life pretty much shifted after that. I was one of those people that was living in the moment. I was always thinking, oh, you know, there's always tomorrow. There's always the next day. I could do this another time. I was not thinking about past what I was doing. Mm-hmm. In that time, because I'm just like, yeah, it's here, it's now. Let me live it, enjoy it. There was, there's no, I my concept of time was different. Yeah. Mm. And after that, because it was, it was very sudden. It wasn't like no one was prepared. Like it just happened. Yeah. And for me, that shifted my mentality, and it's just like, okay. He installed a lot of values, a lot of morals and principles in me more so than even my mom did. So. Now this person that I had as a cornerstone, as an anchor, that literally everything I was doing to see them be happy for me later, Mm. I can't even enjoy it now because they're not there. Because I didn't really put myself in those moments where I should have. And I I would like to, I would like to know, like you know, the women that are subscribing to that lifestyle, like, Mm -hmm. like where are their fathers in their lives? You know, because a lot of women don't have that father figure, so they think that a man love bombing them is a form of, oh, they love me or they actually care about me or whatever the case is. So I would be curious to see how many of the women that subscribe to that lifestyle, if they have a father figure in their life, how active they father figure, like, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. there might be a correlation there, like, you know what I mean? There is, like, if you if you really look at it, like, the main thing that's in the news right now is um, Kamora's daughter mm-hmm. with that um, 65-year-old man and she's 21. Mm-hmm. But then when you real um, remember, maybe it was, like, a couple months ago or a couple, or last year, like, she was going back and forth with her father on the internet. Mm-hmm. To me, it looks like she's looking for that void that her father does. Yo, they had a video where he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna stop paying your bills," and she was like, "Yo, if you start, I find somebody else to pay it or something." And it look like what a video happened. Like that, yeah. Oh, she stood on business when it came to that. Oh, she yeah, was not playing. Yeah. So mm. then, and then, she stood on business a little better. <laughs> not a little better. <laughs> he looked crazy. So like the the I truly feel that the correlation is there, and with me, like I said, being with someone that was had an active father because my parents weren't together after a while. But my dad remained active in me and my brother's life until, you know, the very end. Mm -hmm. So having that influence and seeing like what a stand up man is, it has made my choices better in relationships and as far as how I carry myself. Because eventually I do want to be a mom. Eventually I do want my own family. But I know that a two parent household is important. The last thing, no disrespect to anybody that I would aspire to be is a single mother. That's. Granted, things happen, mm. and not to take that away from anyone, but if I had the chance to choose, mm. and I feel like most women are like that too, nobody really chooses that lifestyle, and things happen. Wait, wait, what? Nobody chooses to be a single mother. Nobody chooses? What? I said not everybody. Not everybody. Okay. Okay. But no, you said nobody <laughs> yeah, chooses. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I see motherfuckers every day. Like, oh, yeah. Shout out to Drea, but you know, it's uh-huh. like, you know, um, <laughs> we're not even going to talk about <laughs> yeah. that lady. Damn. Listen, <laughs> oh, that's just a little bit, a little bit. Like, 